Hi everyone, this is a, a reading for all 12 signs from now uh, until going into February, mid-February. Um, so let's get started. I'll save the announcements till the end, okay? So I brought back my little fun way of doing it. Um, so I'll do a spread for each zodiac sign that will let you know if you're dealing with a fire sign, earth, water, air, what the issue is. Okay, so let's get started. We'll start with Aries first. Yeah, let's get a deck. I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera. So we'll give the cards a quick shuffle and then we'll get started. All right, so for my Aries dealing with fire signs like themselves, we've got the will, <coughs> excuse me, the will of fortune. All right what else what else okay and then we have the ten of wands and then the five of swords so if you're dealing with another fire sign aries sagittarius leo like yourself aries um whatever is happening is destined to happen you, you guys may be laying down the burden that is whatever it could be the relationship romantic business partnership friendship family uh, but there's some strife here and there's some confrontation either within yourself or with another party could be an air sign involved also but um two fire cards here if you're dealing with a fire sign right you guys may be having some indecision within yourself and or some conflict because you're choosing to leave behind partnership whatever partnership is to you and move forward um, alone or to a different state of being um, and just really look forward to what's coming in for you futuristic you know thinking here like what what is there to come in for me all right so my Aries dealing with earth my Aries dealing with earth signs Aries dealing with earth signs Capricorn Virgo Taurus Aries dealing with earth signs Okay, Six of Swords. Someone's moving away from the conflict, the problems, the drama. Get into a more peaceful state. The moon is in reverse. It may be due to the fact that some secrets, lies, outright tr half truths are being are coming out. You could be dealing with a Pisces too. You could be trying to come out of conflict with a Pisces. And then here's you, Aries, you rush in, passionate, wanting a new passionate start here. Nine of Pentacles. You may be rushing to, um, if you're in something with a Pisces, you may be getting out of it. Um, you may be contemplating, yeah, walking away from uh, something with a Pisces or Earth sign or Pisces with Earth in their chart. Um, you may be walking toward an Earth sign who's very abundant. They're single. They're waiting for you. That could very well be the issue also. All right, so my Pisces dealing with water signs. And we got the Six of Cups. So you look at this person possibly as a soulmate. They could be from the past, but there's really nostalgic thoughts of um, this person. Five of Pentacles, but maybe you had to cut them out. They cut you out. You feel left out in some way. Maybe due to the fact that there was some truth revealed here with the Ace of Swords. But there will be communication with the Eight of Wands, also known as the Arrows of Love. Things could be moving fast, really quickly, with you and another water sign uh cancer pisces scorpio all right so my aries dealing with air signs air signs aries four of pentacles some of you could be holding on to your money or your emotions some of you could be holding back dealing with air signs Okay, the chariot in reverse. Some of you are holding back but can't move on or move away from an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
Could be an Aquarius. Definitely. You can't move away from an Aquarius or you have Aquarius in your chart. Aries. There needs to be healing here. Maybe that's why you're not opening up and you're not moving away from uh, maybe a Cancer or an air sign with water in their chart or Cancer in their chart. You're not moving away from... Uh, But you're also not opening up. Yeah, definitely air sign here. Could be a, an Aquarius. Like I said, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're rushing in. They offer you something solid with the Ten of Pentacles here. <clears throat> it looks like you need to open up here. Um, but you might not be opening up to an air sign because there's some healing that needs to be done. All right? So that's for my Aries. Let's pull one butterfly oracle card. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Aries. From now, the 22nd until February 22nd. Okay, what flipped over? Self-employment, welcome the new. That's a Those are beautiful cards. So Aries, you need to be concerned about self-employment uh, and welcoming the new. These are pretty self-explanatory. If you are thinking of self-employment, Here's the card that tells you that, that you're on the right path with those thoughts. Welcome the new. Whatever is new coming in, allow it. Allow it to happen, Aries, okay? All right, so we're moving on to Taurus, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back to do Taurus. So we got the four elements going here. Uh, let's give the cards a quick shuffle, and let's get started. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Taurus. Taurus dealing with earth signs, water signs, air signs, and fire signs. True, accurate messages. Taurus dealing with earth signs. The, some of you could be dealing with the devil directly, uh, or Capricorn directly. Or you could be in a situation where you're, you're feeling karmically tied there. Wow. Um, Taurus, if you're dealing with another earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, like yourself... It looks like some really good energy. Um, I'm reading this as just Capricorn. I'm not reading this as, you know, this is a third-party situation. Some addiction. There could be addiction there. Codependency. But then we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and then the Two of Cups. This is like a soulmate. So if some of you are dealing with other Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus uh, energy, then it looks really, really good. I'm going to leave it at that. My Taurus dealing with water signs. My Taurus dealing with water signs. How does it look for my Taurus dealing with water signs? Six of Wands. So there might be some recognition, some victory here. The Moon. Uh, there might be a bit of unknown in dealing with this person. There might be a bit of... Um, you feeling like you don't have all the information. The Nine of Swords. Yeah. Um... But then the Ace of Swords is here. You get that bit of information you need. And then the Empress is here. I always read this as Virgo or Taurus. You could be the other woman. Uh, there could be another woman or man. You want victory in dealing with all of this energy. The Moon, the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and then the Empress. Uh, there's a bit of you wanting to know what is going on. Um... It's a huge unknown that causes you a lot of mental anguish. You get your truth. And it may just be that you are not the only player or pawn in this player's game. Um, that's what I'm reading for Taurus. Dealing with water signs. Taurus dealing with air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Taurus dealing with air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of Wands, Four of Swords. Some of you are really contemplating walking away, taking a new path. Four of Swords. You're praying about it. You're stepping away from the situation. Five of Cups. This person may have had you in a third party situation or, or vice versa. Five of Swords. Lots of change here. So... It might just be that, Taurus, you decide to 
Wow, Three of Wands, choose yourself and leave behind partnership. It was very progressive. It went from the Two of Wands to the Three of Wands, from the Four of Swords to the Five of Swords. Yeah, so you really had to take a step back. Either this is you or the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, there's a lot of doing and then thinking here. So it's thinking and then doing. There's no cups. You know, there's no pinnacles. It's just, well, there is one cup, five of cup. Um, and that's, you know, grieving the loss of, you know, maybe this person knew it would hurt, but they knew they had to make it the, the decision, whether it's you, Taurus, or the other person. All right, so my Taurus dealing with fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We've got the world that flipped over. So there could be an ending of a chapter, a cycle here with uh, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or how you deal with each other, mental, you know, breaks happening where you think differently. Eight of Swords. There's ending, but you go right back to a, cert, uh, a negative mindset here. Ace of Cups. Wow. There's love here. Four of Cups, but I don't know if you're taking to it, Taurus. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. You're being very reserved and you're holding back. So I'm hearing some of you are um, trying to conserve your money and dealing with this fire sign. Some of you feel like there is an ending, but there's still love here. But you don't know if you want to take the love offer here because this person spends a lot of money. Or they require a lot of monetary um, help from you. Okay? So let's pull a butterfly oracle card for Taurus. Thank you for true accurate messages for Taurus. True accurate messages for Taurus. A message of support and love for Taurus. A new exercise program. I'll pull another. Hobbies. Seeking and finding. All right. Um, we'll start with seeking and finding. Um, whatever you're looking for is looking for you. And if you're looking for something, know that you'll find it. It's just a really thinking about what you what you'll do after you find the truth. It looks like some of my tourists dealing with water signs are looking for truth, um, seeking truth, wanting truth. What will you do after truth? If things are going to stay the same, then don't seek and find. Seek and find, and then know that you'll do something different. Things will change. Hobbies. Some of you need to engage in hobbies. Um, monetize hobbies I'm, I'm hearing some of you have hobbies that could be monetized you could be making money um, some of you need to engage in hobbies because of some harsh energy going on in the midst of relationship romantic relationship business partnership work home school whatever you need a hobby you need an outlet new exercise program a hobby can be exercise uh, some of you need to engage in a new exercise program for some of you you may have let yourself go especially in relationship um you have goals for yourself um jump back on the band uh jump back on the horse you know you can do it um so those are the messages for taurus um, i'll be right back with the messages for gemini okay